Hi, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to color cool ombre hair using the Color Therapy app. This is a beginner tutorial, and we'll focus on learning how to fade blonde hair into purple ombre. The best way to blend hair is to choose gradients similar in color and set them in a radial gradient to make them shiny. Let's begin. So, to find this image, go under Classic, click People, and then click on ponytail hairstyle number three. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my palette and I wanna choose a really dark color. So under dark shades, I'm gonna choose a dark black to a gray color and I'm going to set that to radial gradient and just tap to fill the background and the flowers, the skin and the, the shirt. I'm doing this so that I can just focus on the hair itself. Now for the hair, let's go back into our palette and under classic, choose the beige and blonde color. And we're going to tap to fill the very top of the head. And you want it to be the gradient from dark to light. Under the gold palette, choose a light color beige. Set that one to a radial gradient. And we're going to tap to fill just a few strands of hair in the mid of the head. So if you go under the shiny metal palette, you can find a nice light purple to white gradient. Let's choose that. And then under the sunrise palette, there are two gradients next to each other, a really dark purple and then a lighter pink to purple gradient. So you want to choose both of those. And with the lighter color that we just got, that shiny metal purple, we want to set the gradient to radial and then just begin tapping to fill in the midline of the hair. Now the goal is to start blending it together, so you might need to change the gradient um, from light to dark, depending on how it's interacting with the blonde color, because you want to try to fade it and blend it together. And do the same thing on the other side. You also want to bring that into the midline of the hair below the brooch and set that to a radial gradient. And just begin tapping to fill. Now at this point we want to start using that medium um, pink to dark purple gradient and begin tapping to fill that in next. And then at the bottom of the hair we'll do the same thing but with the darker purple gradient and bring in a few other of the lighter colors in there, here and there, to make it look more realistic. So I'm just choosing some random strands. Don't forget to color in the little brooch. I used a darker purple color, set to radial, so it stands out against the lighter hair. So now, let's go into the effects tab to complete this look. Choosing no lines is great for hair as it helps to make it look more realistic. Another beautiful option is romantic lines. I'm going to go with no lines. Then under effects, canvas painting is a really nice choice. And watercolor is another great option too. Here's the final version of the ombre hair tutorial. Because there are so many choices and gradients of colors to choose from, creating this look is really fun and can be done in so many other colors too. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.